Hi everyone and welcome to this video entitled Growth Data, a new tool to characterize spatiospectral patterns of plant growth. Together with my group, we are located uh, in the northwest part of France, uh, in Angers, that's in the Loire Valley, and I'm heading a bioimaging research group among the Plant Science Institute with biologists who uh, cares about ornamental plants, but also plant pathogens interactions and also uh, seeds and seedlings. Uh, as a consequence, we develop uh, imaging solutions uh, for controlled environment uh, phenotyping. You may be aware that several scenarios are possible to deploy such imaging solution in a controlled environment. First, you can move the sensor to the plant, the plant to the sensor, or the grid, or use a, a grid of sensors. In our case, because we want acquisition to be synchronized, but also because we want to avoid to cause stress of the plant which are moved to, uh, under uh, a sensor, we, will, uh, we have selected uh, the solution of grid of sensor by specially using a low-cost um, imaging system that are uh, easily replicable um, as a, a grid of uh, cameras and connected mini computers. Our system, entitled Phenogrid, uh, is currently uh, composed of 400 cameras, enabling to uh, monitor a huge amount of uh, seedlings uh, in parallel. And today, I'm putting the focus on the, uh, during the talk on the software that we designed to extract knowledge from the uh, this acquired image. And this software is um, uh, coined Gross Data. Uh, there's already a lot of uh, existing software available, for instance, on this uh, website, quantitativeplant.org. Uh, uh, and uh, we have developed uh, our software by uh, taking into account the specificities of our uh, um, imaging system, which is not only composed of RGB images, but also depth, cam uh, depth camera. So in our case, since we care about uh, plant pathogen interaction and ornamental plants, uh, when we follow from top view uh, uh, growing uh, plants or developing uh, plant pathogen interactions, we will have appearance of a pattern that will either grow and evolve in terms of uh, color. So we have developed with growth data a specific algorithm that ca capable of uh, detecting the apparition of such a pattern, tracking uh, this pattern over time, and then producing such mosaic in which we will uh, be able to uh, uh, do provide or perform a spectrospatial uh, analysis, so evolution of the size and evolution of the uh, color. Concerning um, depth uh, images, when you uh, um, point a um, uh, depth image from top view on uh, seedlings, you will uh, record a, a diminution or a decrease of the distance of the plant to the camera, but also you will record some um, um, uh, movements uh, which occur in controlled environments, so this is not due to wind, but this is due to circadian uh, rhythm and also some spurious uh, um, movement which appear when new leaves appear as a kind of a response of the mechanical system of the plant to the apparition of these new leaves. So when you plot um, the distance of the canopy to the camera, you have such nice uh, curves uh, which carry a lot of information, not only the slope, which is the gr daily growth rate of uh, the, the canopy, but also the amplitude of these oscillations, or again, the, the amplitude of this high frequency that we have captured with a um, speci specially uh, um, suited design of a, a three-dimension feature space based on a Fourier analysis. So uh, this feature space enabled to have uh, early de detection of biotic or abiotic stress on growth with depth features. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, uh, this early detection is much more sensitive than what you will have with a manual daily measure of the uh, ice. Now, if you want to test growth data, uh, we make it available to you uh, via uh, some GitHub link uh, pointed here uh, on this uh, slide um, with some test uh, file, an online app Shiny application and a Docker for on-site uh, application. If you want to learn more on uh, how to perform, design, prototype uh, some plant phenotyping with mini computers and low-cost camera, 
Uh, you may be aware that we organize a workshop uh, this year in 2021 in Angers during three days. It will be hybrid, meaning that you can come on site if possible, or you can also connect uh, online. And the registration procedure is still open and available via the IPPN website and indicated here on this slide. You can also follow uh, the activity of our group uh, via Twitter or YouTube on our channel where we uh, provide a lot of uh, didactic material uh, for our students, but also um, for any scientists uh, around the world. So now I'm going to give the mic to uh, Matisse, um, uh, our research engineer who developed uh, uh, plant growth, who will give you a, a demonstration of the software. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, David, for the presentation, and hello, everybody. I'm uh, Mathis Cordier. I'm researcher, research engineer for the Laris here in Angers. I'm going to show you a small demonstration of growth data. So it's an app that allows you to characterize the growth of plants based on depth and color images. So based on this, we are uh, going to analyze the evolution of depth, color, and the cover surface of plants. So we'll start uh, with a color example. Here we have salads on top view and we want to characterize their growth. So firstly, we have some classical tools on the right of the screen. Um, and here we will be interested in the green layer. So uh, there, the slider make it, makes it possible to vary the position over time. And um, here we have one of the real improvement of the app with the 3D histogram of the color layers. So with only one plot, we synthesize uh, the information that is included in the four color layers histogram. Now I can make uh, the time move and we will have real-time calculation of the histogram. Here at the end of the sequence, we can see that there is a great diversity of colors on the plant's pixels. We can now move to the plant segmentation. So that calculation will allow us to go to the sequence analysis part. Once we have uh, calculated uh, the segmentation on each uh, for each time, sorry, um, we can pl plot the plant's cover surface as a function of time. And at the right of the screen, we have the 3D evolution of the average color. So um, if we include all the pixels like that, um, we can see that there is an evolution of the average color to the green. Um, here is a new tool. Uh, it allows you to characterize the growth difference between two times. As an example here, we can see an increase, uh, a big increase of the growth. And um, if I... Uh, move the slider we can make it possible to to make a variation of time okay so we can now move to the depth images so here we have uh, a canopy of hydrangeas on the view we can go to next step and um, the plots we can see on the left side of the screen represents the evolution of the average distance to the camera and as David said previously, we can see period by period the trend, the circadian patterns and the higher frequency patterns. And on the right of the screen, uh, we have a 3D plot with the representation of four features for each period. So we have the energy of the signal, signal sorry, the first harmonic, the harmonic distortion rate and the average growth. So I think we will at the end of the presentation. Don't hesitate to contact us if you're interested in uh, processing your plant growth data. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.